Hopefully I'm getting a quick upper body workout in. I'm gonna take you through, through it with me. So here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna talk you through this workout. So we started with three sets of 10 to 12 reps in a wide grip pull up. I really wanted to focus on bigger movements for this lift since I didn't have a lot of time, but I really wanted to get a good lift in. I did a wide grip so that way it would work on my back more and I really tried to focus on squeezing my shoulder blades together and driving my elbows down. A lot of people overuse their biceps, so it's really important to take time to really make sure you're using the right muscles. Something that really helped me is I had a coach growing up would put his, um, his or her finger blades in between my shoulder blades. I had several coaches and they'd put it there so that way I could actually feel what to contract. So the next exercise in this workout is a <laughs> Lord struggle, a uh, bench press. Um, I have not done this in a while. So I just really just came in and started with the barbell. I did a set of 15. The next set was supposed to be eight, but I did nine and the last set is six. I increased the weight for each set as I went along, kept my elbows off my sides, about a 45 degree angle, drove, drove my feet into the ground and made sure I anchored my shoulders in there and had a really good balance and took a deep breath. You can really see here that my uh, elbows are not touching the bench or the sides of my body. Um, also, I did decrease the amount of resistance on the pull-up, so I actually had to use more of my own weight. So this next movement, we superset this with a chest press. So this is like a hammer strength uh, lat pull down. I alternated between sides, um, but I did three sets of 10 for um, each side of the body and three sets of 10 for the chest press as well. This is similar as the pull up. I have my, I'm making sure I'm pulling my chest all the way to the pad and driving my elbow down and contracting that shoulder blade in the back and really making sure that I'm focusing my movement on my back rather than my bicep in doing this and I would alternate sides and then do both limbs as well just to make sure that I am working my body body adequately and I'm also working the weaker side first just to make sure it gets more of my energy so this is the chest press I used um, and I really could have increased the weight because it was way too light for me but I will definitely do it next time I go in I alternated between single arm and double arm again Really try to focus um, your contraction and the muscle that you're trying to work. Try not to use your triceps on this. Try to really focus on your chest. So the last uh, two movements of this uh, workout was a superset with a rear delt fly and a chest fly. I typically do this on the same machine, which is this one right here. I really don't like the other machine that I use, but I was going for what I could at the t for time and not having to reset. Three sets of 10 on both of those. Big thing here is making sure you're using the correct muscles. Take your time, don't speed through it, so that way you can really feel it. And if you can, since these are lighter weights, increase the weight each set that you do things, um, and then take rest where you need it. I kind of just push through it to get through the circuit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will catch you in the next video. Comment below what you want to see next. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.